Okay, so um, this is another tutorial video on the use of PowerPoint to create lessons you can uh, can show on the SmartBoard. Uh, the topic of this uh, particular lesson is going to be animation. Now we're going to talk about uh, a number of the different types of animations there are in uh, PowerPoint, and then how those animations and uh, sounds can go together. And and uh, so basically, we can make animations and make sounds and everything will be awesome. It'll be great. So uh, the first kind of animations uh, used to be in the animations tab is now in the transitions tab. So if we click the transitions tab, uh, we can see that we can animate between slides or we can give a an effect, uh, so to speak, between slides. So I'm just going to click on one of the uh, effects and you see that's what it does. Uh, and then notice that right next to uh, effects, I can add a sound with that too. So I can uh, make an arrow go every time uh, that I transition between slides. How about a breeze? Then if I click the apply to all button, that means every time we transition between slides, that's what's going to happen. So if I launch my uh, slideshow, you'll see that effect the first time. And then when we click to go to the next slide, we see that effect again. So um, that's uh, basically how transitions uh, are affected for um, uh, you know, animations between slides. So you can see there's a lot of different types of um, animations you can do. Um, and uh, I'm not going to show you them all because they all basically are the same. So the next thing we'll look at is uh, instead of um, transitions, let's let's look at animations. And in order to do an animation, I need to have something that I'm going to animate. So if I click on this, you can see that I have a number of different animations that I can affect uh, or that I can uh, utilize. So what I'm going to do is uh, click on this, and what I want to do is an entrance. So I want this shape to fly in. And if I open the animation pane, I can click on here and go with effect options. And instead of flying in from the bottom, I want it to fly in from the left. And uh, I do want to apply a sound with it because we're going to do a sound with everything, I think. Ooh, did I see uh, the camera? How about that? Yeah, that's the picture or something. So now if I click OK, you hear the, uh, the camera sound and the picture comes in from the left. Very exciting. I think the, um, the sun should float in. Look at that. It looks like a sunrise. It's very exciting. And uh, again, uh, once I select float in, I can uh, options. Uh, I can click on the options there. I can float up or float down. I'd like it to float up, and um, uh, that's the basics of that. So, um, again, any of these shapes or anything that right, we can do it with uh, clip arts. We can do it with just about anything that we put in here. We can add. We can uh, do some kind of animation with it, and then uh, we can, in addition to the animation, make that animation make a sound. So, let's. Uh, that's about all I'm going to say about animations. They're pretty, uh, pretty smooth and um, effective in um, in PowerPoint. You can apply multiple um, multiple animations to one shape. For instance, as you, you enter um, the uh, uh, excuse me, enter the page, uh, maybe the shape flies in, and then if you click on the shape, it, it fades out. So there's a lot of different ways you can uh, affect animations in uh, PowerPoint. It's a pretty powerful tool. That's it. I hope you enjoyed.